Oh, so you have found it. What do you need? You can mess with me, private. This isn't what I need. Oh, right. Uh, I was like, what? I thought you were giving me a reward there. That's me not reading. That's me not concentrating again. Right, here. Look, this is the fucking thing you want, right? This is it. This will save your life someday, son. It will? You sure know how to exaggerate. You imbecile. Engine boost is vital for bringing back soldiers alive from war. <laughs> it Engine is? Boost. Of course. Engine boost is the basis of everything. Let me tell you a war story, Ah, <laughs> oh, no. I was leading my unit. It's like Uncle Albert line. from Fools and Horses. Bad, and sanitary conditions were worse. Endless guerrilla attacks were stripping us of our manpower. Everyone was tired to their limits. There was one sergeant who really rubbed me the wrong way. The boys like to call him Crybaby Timothy. He really gave me headaches, I can tell you. How? Just by breathing. <laughs> His posture was bad. He was weak, slow, easily distracted. I have no idea who thought he was capable of combat in a war zone. He endangered the lives of every member of the unit. Stomach pains. The worst stomach ache ever. Every one of us. It was just cooking. He was using food that was contaminated. I flew into the dugout toilet like an Apache chopper returning to base. <laughs> I have to tell you, it was a close call. My engine was boosting. And that's what got me there safely. Right in the nick of time. Oh, what? What happened to the unit? You really want to know? It was a terrible sight. Powerful, athletic men reduced to walking dead. Blinking like crazy, shaking with pain. Their confidence and self-esteem were all crushed. They all By this guy's cooking? Color. What the hell? Interesting story. <laughs> so you see the need for engine boost now, do you? I'll keep my side of the promise and get to work on your vehicle. Uh, but... For us, that's called sprinting in human bean form, not for a fucking car. That badge on him is for a sergeant. Looks like it was sewn on something else before it was sewn onto his shirt. I wonder what that's all about. Hi, right, yeah. I put sergeant in longer rank, but he's called up general. Your lower gears. That should add boost to your speed when you accelerate. But there's still plenty of stuff I can do to make your car go faster. Just come see me again and I'll customize your car a little more. Yay! Did another low side quest! Thank you, and it better be for the car I just bought. Yes, it is. I hope it is. It better be. Oh, did it upgrade both cars? Oh, -ho! this is much like it. Look at that. 80 fucking miles per hour. Screw you, please, car. I've even got sat nav in my car. Yes, I do. Does it work? No, it doesn't. I'm sure there was like um, another game which had sat nav and it actually worked. I think that was like from For Forza Motorsport. Don't you think there are a lot of good-looking women in this town? It's like heaven compared to the town we grew up in. Do you remember Liz? Prom queen? Elizabeth Scott Moore. She could be royalty with a name like that. But you know, she was like an actress from a B-movie, wasn't she? <laughs> what? Bleached blonde hair, too much makeup, clothes showed off her cleavage, and that mole by her mouth. Say, Zach, were you with me back then? You know, that mole was made with makeup, right? We happened to be on the same bus once. I saw her drawing it on with makeup. I wasn't surprised, I guess. Just impressed that she would go that far to create that image. <laughs> you remember that movie we went to go see that day? I'll give you a hint. It was the fourth in a popular series. 
and was produced by Menahem Golan's Canon Films. Figured it out, Zach? No. Think it over, then. Call it your homework until next time. What? Fuck. Fine, I'll... 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 I'll challenge you to that. Fourth. What the hell would be the fourth and be most popular? I don't... I'm not really a... I'm not really a film guru. I'm not really a film geek. I don't really know much about my films. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Police Academy. It can't be. I think they've done fucking hundreds of them. Fourth. Nah. <laughs> I would, I would prefer to see the naked gun. Okay, we're finally here. Let's have a little talk with them. We're not gonna see Limbo dances in this place. Hey, the uh, fucking KF is here. Hi! Emily, were you waiting outside for me? Should I have gone inside and started the 20 questions? Well, that would have been fine with me. Shall we get something to eat then? Someone should teach you how to be more considerate. <laughs> and now you want something to eat? I thought we were going to question Nick. Yeah, after we eat! It's simple, we eat and then we ask him questions. We question him like Batman, of course. Where were you on the 13th? Oh, no, no! <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Agent. Mr. Agent? Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our special today is turkey. Turkey! Turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound Ooh. good? Ooh! Perfect. Wait, you put gravy in oh, a sandwich? What? Too. It'll be on the FBI. Okay, then. I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. What? And the time of this? What? It's a little too expensive. <laughs> Ch she's laughing her ass off. I need to question you as well. Like, why did you kind of went out? Hey! Guess this is Olivia Cormack. I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I'd thank you a bunch. What? Yes, of course. Just a moment. Stewart, how are you? go. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. What? Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. <laughs> it is! Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. I know he said the funny thing! No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Just say you consider this, you, uh, York. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Yes! I, that is, Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. Are you sure that sandwich is that good? Oh my god. What are those things on his neck? Mr. Francis York Morgan, making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. I know he said the funky thing! You're right. I'll give it a try. Holy shit, what is that? Hmm? Oh, I can't believe it, this is fantastic! <laughs> no! Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is having. <laughs> oh my. Did, what did they try and I'm thinking, what? It's crap! What the hell? 
Nick and Diane. They hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were all... rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. I get where you're coming from. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you? A punk rocker? <laughs> Nobody took my side. Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. I was young back then, too. <laughs> Even still, I just don't see you as a punk rocker. Why do I get a feeling you can buy those <laughs> clothes? <laughs> Look at you. No makeup on. Dressed in uniform, eating a steak for lunch. Is that not funny? Let's talk to Nick. Ah, well we got some ease for fucking hell, yeah. What kind of crap clothes do you have to wear? What the hell did I wear? I think it was just mainly crap, really. I think it was like baggy jeans, you know. For some reason baggy jeans were popular like in the early 2000 and late 90s. <laughs> what the hell? What's up? Could you tell... Oh. Okay, can you tell us uh, what were you doing the night Anna was killed? I was at the bar with... Wait a minute, he had three ellipses, what the hell? With Diane. What did you two talk about, Nick? Remember and uh, Turner, is that a problem? No, no problem. If you think... Uh, Diane, oh, he's talking. If you think Diane did it, you're wrong. No, that's not it. Oh, so it's me you're after. Isn't it you're wrong again? So much for the FBI, huh? That isn't the case. Either, Nick. I think there's something... Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I think there's something... Both of you are hiding. You can tell when people are hiding something by their reactions. Eye, tongue, hand movements, sweat, dry lips, neck angles, and such. I'm working here! If you ain't ordering anything, get out! <sighs> Fine. I'll get out. I'll get out. But I will say, you make the most delicious turkey, jam, and cereal sandwich ever. Seriously. Ever! Oh, and I will be back to order that again. And what the hell is this? Open. What the fuck? Oh, menu. <laughs> I'm like, what was that noise all about? It doesn't matter, I'm gonna save, because saving's what I do. It's been a while since I saved. You know, I've been running around for scrap yards and such. Hmm, hang on. Before I save, I should really just do this. No, I'm not gonna sing the lollipop song. I know you love the lollipop song, but I. I Stop singing the lollipop song! Just sing a new song!